Crystal drops by. You're watching WBRE in high definition. Now on Eyewitness News at 11. This memorial is a beautiful tribute to our local war heroes, but the group that takes care of it needs your help. And flu season is coming. We'll show you how our region affects the national supply of vaccines. Plus highs in the 70s, low humidity. It doesn't really feel like August. I'll let you know how long this weather is going to last. Eyewitness News is next. Proudly Crummery Mall of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. This is Eyewitness News at 11 in High Definition. Good evening, everyone. Glad you could join us tonight. I'm Nick Toma. And I'm Candace Kelly. A group of veterans in Monroe County is doing its part tonight to honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. The American Legion post out of Mount Pocono is trying to renovate the Tannersville War Memorial. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Choate shows us how you can support this patriotic project. It had originally just the two flagpoles, an American flag and the American Legion flag. Tom Bowditch is proud to show us around the Tannersville War Memorial. My grandfather was in the U.S. Navy. My father was in the British Royal Marines, both in World War I. The display along Route 611 honors veterans from Monroe County. American Legion Post 903 has been renovating the memorial for the past few years, but there's still more work to be done, especially since Pocono winters aren't exactly kind to the stone. If you look at it, you can see where all the loose mortar is. There's a lot of big cracks starting in there. In addition to those repairs, Bowditch wants to put in a walkway and install a plaque to remember local heroes who died during World War I. If we don't do something now, especially with the names of everybody who died in, from Monroe County in World War I, it's never going to get done. You know, and this is the perfect year to do it, the 100th anniversary. The only problem? The price tag. American Legion Post 903 is trying to come up with $5,000 for this project. And the small group of veterans doesn't have a place to call home. We don't have a building. We can't raise money that way, so we have to go out to the community. This group has the support of the Pocono Township community. In fact, we found this American flag rock that someone hand painted and left on this army bench at the war memorial. That was fantastic. We were there nearly two years ago when a Boy Scout raised about $1,000 for these new flagpoles. It was me saying thank you to the veterans for what they did for them fighting for our freedom. Bowditch says thanks to donations, the war memorial is quickly becoming a popular attraction. Because people are coming by here looking, they pull in, you know, look around, feed our ducks, have a good time. <laughs> in Tannersville, Kelly Choate, Eyewitness News. And if you'd like to make a donation as well, we have the details posted on our website, pahomepage.com. That's also where you can find the list of upcoming fundraisers to support the war memorial in Monroe County.